Good morning, boys and girls. Today we are reading a book called Insect Quest, Hide and Seek. So we are going to play a hide and seek game, but this is with insects or bugs. This book has two different authors, Clarissa Martinez and Erin Seagraves wrote this hide and seek book. So the back of the book says, insects are everywhere, but some are so good at hiding, you might not even notice them. Join us on a hide and seek journey to spot insects that use camouflage to blend into their surroundings. So camouflage is another way to say hiding, right? Some insects, they use their camouflage or the color of their skin to hide into different backgrounds. So let's see if we can find some of the hiding bugs. Insects have different, have interesting ways of hiding from danger. Their bodies, colors, and markings help them camouflage or blend in to their surroundings to hide in plain sight. What is hiding? What animal or insect do you see hiding on this page? I can see a white butterfly and the white butterfly is the same color as that white flower. So it might be using camouflage to hide. Do you think you can find the insects that are hiding? What do you think? Can you do it? Join these children in their insect quest and find out. There's something different about that leaf. Do you see it too? What is different about that leaf? If you look close enough, you can see that there is an insect on it. And that insect is what color? And what color are the leaves? So the insect and the leaves are the same color. It's using camouflage to hide. Good job if you found it. So that insect is called a Luna moth. It says, Luna moths are some of the largest moths in North America. Adults are over four inches wide because they are nocturnal, which means they are active at night. So when you guys sleep at nighttime, a moth is still up. Luna moths are sometimes called moon moths. The word Luna means moon in Spanish. So you see the wings are green to help moths hide in the leaves of trees. Just like butterflies, Luna moths start out as a, what is that? A caterpillar. That's a funny looking branch on that tree. Take a closer look. What do you see? What do you see on that branch? What do you think that is? Let's find out. That is called a walking stick. Look at, look at how that looks. What does that look like? It looks like a stick almost. A walking stick is a type of insect whose color and body shape make it look like a stick on a tree. You might spy young walking sticks during the day when they're active, but adult walking sticks are nocturnal. Their eyes are sensitive to sunlight. The walking stick is one of the world's largest insects. This one looks like it's about six inches long using a ruler to measure it. A walking stick's body is hard and bumpy, just like a branch or a twig. So see, it's using camouflage to blend in with a twig on a tree. Is there something crawling on top of that yellow flower? It's so hard to see, what could it be? What do you think? What's on that yellow flower? Look closely. What is that? Mm, I'm sure some of you know what that is. That is a honeybee. In a honeybee colony, there are many different jobs. The queen bee lays eggs. Nurse bees feed the bee larva. Baby bees that look like worms. Worker bees build the honeycombs and drones fertilize the eggs. They all work together to help the colony. Honeybees use honeycombs to lay their eggs. And did you know bees are responsible for pollinating flowers and plants? So bees help keep our flowers alive. 
Isn't that a fun fact? All right, let's move on to the next one. Let's see if you can find it. What is that resting over there on those leaves? I see eyes and legs. What could it be? What is that? It's so hard to see. They're both the same color green. That's really good camouflage. What is that? Does anyone know? That is a grasshopper. Grasshoppers love to eat plants, which means they can sometimes be pests. That means they can bother farmers in their gardens. When grasshoppers join together, they can eat an entire field of plants, ruining the hard work of farmers and gardeners. So if you have a farm and a lot of plants and there's grasshoppers there, the grasshoppers will eat all of the plants. And that's sad, right? We don't want them to eat all the plants. A grasshopper's green color helps it hide amongst leaves and grass. That's a good color to use to hide. Grasshoppers are good jumpers. So good, in fact, that they can jump up to 20 times their own body length. You see this one jumping? I wonder how high you can jump. Here's the next one. One, two, three, four, five. Let's play hide and seek with a butterfly. Can you see it? This is a hard one. Where's the butterfly? I'll give you guys a second for this one. Look closely. Can you tell where the butterfly is? That was a tricky one. That is called a leaf wing butterfly. Leaf wing butterflies are masters of disguise. They have really good costumes. They can always hide. When they fly, you can easily see their bright red and orange colors. But when they rest or take a nap, their camouflage makes them blend right in with the leaves. Leaf Leaf wing butterflies are difficult to spot because they typically live on trees or branches or even the ground. It's easy to see how the leaf wing butterfly is so good at hiding. Look at how similar the wings are to a leaf. Can you believe that? That's the butterfly and that's a leaf. They look so much alike. The butterfly, this butterfly has to be really good at hiding. Take a closer look there in the grass. Something silent and still. What do you see? Can you put on your binoculars like he is? What can you see there in the grass? That is a praying mantis. Praying mantises' colors and bodies help them blend into green leaves. They can turn their heads almost all the way around to see behind them. This helps praying mantises look around to find something tasty to eat. How far can you turn your head? I can only turn my head to here. But a praying mantis can turn its head all the way around. That has to be kind of hard. Can you turn your head all the way around? So here is a praying mantis. When a praying mantis feels threatened or in danger by a predator, they stand up and they spread their forelegs to appear bigger. So if you ever see a praying mantis doing this, it means that it's scared. It feels like it's in danger. Look at the beautiful flowers. But there's something more. Do you see it too? What's in the flowers? Look closely. That, what is that? You guys know what that is, right? That is, it looks like a ladybug. Not all ladybugs are red though, right? Some of them are red, but not all of them. Some are yellow or orange. These bright colors help them blend into flowers, but their colors and black spots also help protect them by sending a message to predators. So their black dots send a message that say, stay away, I'm dangerous and I don't taste good. When a ladybug flies, its wings beat 85 times every second. So when it's flying, it goes like this 85 times. Can you fly and flap your wings 85 times? I bet you would get tired. Ladybugs are most active when their body temperature is at 75 degrees or warmer. So a ladybug likes warm temperature. What kind of temperature do you like? Do you like when it's warm and sunny or do you like when it's cold and snowy? A ladybug likes the warm weather. I like the warm weather. Today we found insects that use camouflage to hide from predators. Can you remember their names? There they are. 
Do you remember the names? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So let's see. Does anyone remember what number one is? Number one is a Luna Moth. Number two is a ladybug. Number three, this was a leaf wing butterfly. Number four, that was a praying mantis. Number five, that's a grasshopper. Number six, that's a honeybee. And number seven was a walking stick. Did you get them all right? How many did you get right? Did you remember? And that is the end of Insect Quest Hide and Seek. So if it's nice outside today, where you are, I wonder if you can go outside and find some insects that are hiding in the trees or in the leaves or in the grass. Maybe you can take a picture and send it to me. All right, that is it for today. Bye, boys and girls. I'll see you next time.